Hey guys, so today I want to show you a quick tips about histogram scan and teach you how to actually utilize this node to its full potential. So a histogram scan, it's in its own, it's a really simple node. It has only position and contrast. And I think it's best shown how both of these work if you plug in a Perlin noise. And as you can see, position will increase uh, the values to be more white. And the more contrast you have, of course the more contrast it's gonna have and if you have it to one it's gonna be completely black and white unless you put the position up high then it will be completely uh, completely black but still as you can see if you put the contrast all the way up you get only black and white values if you put it a little bit more down you get a bit more grayish values and whatnot and you can see the same thing here so if you put the position down you can control it how much you want um, how much of contrast you want and you can even plug it in and with this it's really easy to actually create some um, masks because you can just turn into a simple Perlin noise and just plug in the contrast and get uh, get the position high and how you like it exactly if you can you can do the same with this um, grunge map and if I plug it in here as you can see if I put the position to one it will make a complete um, complete mask map here so it is really useful and now i will show you how it works in the practical terms of things okay. so here we are in one of the first materials i ever created and here you can see a full utilization of the actual histogram scan node so basically we have a blend node here with our moss uh, moss mask and we need a mask for that so we can blend in it better. And we just put it through a histogram scan that is high position and high contrast. And as you can see, it creates a really, really good um, moss mask. And with the moss mask, we can basically blur the places like we did here. We can blur the places where we actually want to place our moss at. And it makes such a better um, such a better material addition if you use it this way another way we used it basically the same thing we did is just uh, first moss so we have another moss mask here that is a bit finer and whatnot it's a bit more intricate and we again put it through a histogram scan and as you can see we just create a almost completely white map here so we can add the moss way easier using our mask here Another way is we utilize the histogram scans in this uh, very material and in other materials as well is creating shapes. So basically, as you can see, we created this, this sort of shape. We blurred it to get a little bit more um, of a rounder and softer edges. And then we did histogram scan. And if I go back to this one, you can see the difference between this and this. It looks way better and it looks more fine-tuned. Another usage we... Uh, we have here is actually for our albedo mask and we are here adding some natural peaks and valleys and as you can see those uh, really nice rocky colors and we have this mask but of course we cannot utilize this alone because if we plug this in it would look really weird so we put it through a histogram scan and what histogram scan does in this occasion let me just uh, get it a bit up yeah uh, as you can see it kind of points out to the edges crevices and all those natural rocky surfaces that you actually need to fill up with color and now this is not on in high position you can even lower it and uh, maybe even destroy a little bit of the contrast and whatnot but as you can see it really emphasizes on those crevices to make the whole material go look way way better because we went from this to this in no time just because with the help of a histogram scan i hope you like this tutorial and see you later guys if you like this tutorial and would like to learn more about material creating in Substance Designer, consider checking out my Skillshare course down in the description. It is your go-to place to start learning more in-depth about creating materials inside Substance Designer and is also amazing for beginners that want to hop right into material creation. Also, if you use my link in the description, you get to watch the entire course entirely for free.